mailbag time. Got a few things here. Let's get stuck into it. Here, the links down below for some of these items. Oh, this is a multi bag. Look at this. We got a two foot. Or is it a three foot? Two for one. Excellent. Even better. One day it's going to be like Inception, I'm going to open a packet and it's going to have two packets in it. I'm going to open one of those packets and it's going to have two packets in it. It's going to happen one day. And it's a bunch of buttons. So I purchased an assortment of buttons because I replaced a button recently on a remote control. These guys can't tell you what they are. So I had a remote control. I did a video on it. You've probably seen it by now. And I realised I didn't have quite the right switch, so I bought some more assortments. And one of these actually does have the right switch in it, I believe. Somewhere. <laughs> Next one. This might be the one that's in the case. By the sound of it, it rattling around. Here we go. This is the one I thought would be the case. Why well, do I have to wrap everything in plastic? I mean, it's inside a plastic case. Why does it need a bag? Here's the assortment, and the buttons I actually want are these ones here. Replace the button on my control of my Toyota. The ones I had were, well, like these ones, I suppose, actually. These ones here. So this is the one I put in, that style, same as this. And this is the one. Oh, no, don't lose it. <laughs> oh, don't lose it again. Balance on my finger. And this is the one I actually wanted. The tighter one's got like a rubber top on them. No, it's a plastic top. The top piece is actually plastic. It looks exactly the same as the Toyota ones, which do have like a rubbery top on them. Yeah, it may not be worth chopping it again, but the one I put in is more sensitive than the original. It clicks probably a little bit too easily. So that's what I put in, and that's what probably should be there, but with a rubbery top. Switches always come in handy. Electrical boxes. It's quite small boxes. They clip together, it's got tape on them or something. There we go, yeah, clip together. So I actually got these to use with those little DC filters I picked up not long ago. So I want to put those inside these little boxes and I can then put these in line. So you've got the actual cutouts already in, in here. Um, maybe, although the box lid is in the way of using them. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. The idea is to put one of those DC filters inside these boxes and run the wire the existing wires, cut them or whatever I need to do, or splice them or one wire in one side, out the other, put it in series and have a filter inside a box. But I wanted some nice smallish boxes to put those filters into. Um, I did have other boxes but a bit bulky, a bit bigger and I wasn't really happy with them. These are at least a bit smaller, a bit more suited to it. There will be links down below for those. Look at this thing. Oh, we've got another twofer. Well, let's look inside this one first. Let's cut the end off instead. What's in here? Oh, more boxes. <laughs> I, I may have got carried away. Um, these ones are basically the same size as the other ones, actually. They look the same. In fact, they look identical, just in white. No worries. I thought I needed to get a few extras. PCB way are doing their usual thing. They're doing a little sale at Christmas time. This ends on the 31st of December. So if you want to benefit from any of these deals they're doing, make sure you go and check them out. PCB way sponsor my videos from time to time. When I want a new PCB made, they will make it for me and supply it to me at no cost. I'm pleased to work with PCB way. They've always been really happy with the service. And they do all sorts of things now. 3D printing and CNC machining as well as PCB. So it's a really good service. Definitely check out their Christmas special. So this is actually a Christmas present for my wife. 
Don't tell her. Shh. She had an issue not long ago where she was driving home from work and she had a puncher. And she didn't realise she had a puncher until the thing blew out. Apparently one of her work colleagues had actually noticed a car with a puncher but didn't realise whose car it was. She found out the following day. Only I had to go and rescue her. I had to leave work, go and change the tyre on the car on the side of the motorway. That was fun. But uh, anyway... So, because I don't want her to risk having a blowout and another experience which wasn't particularly pleasant for her, I've decided to get one of these. Now, there's lots of different versions of TPMS, so TPMS, if you don't know what one is, it's a tyre pressure monitoring system. See, tyre pressure monitoring system. You can even spell it with a Y if you like. Um, now this one is an Android based one, so she's got an Android stereo on a car, she did a video on installing that thing. So in theory this can just plug into one of the USB ports having the software on the Android device, or some spare seals, and it will monitor the tire pushes. Four sensors, not for front and rear, so front left, front right, rear left, rear right, and these are screw onto the existing valves on the outside. These are different versions, you can't get ones that actually go inside the tire, batteries last longer on them, but these ones go on the outside, and the advantage of that is that you can change the batteries really easily. You don't have to take the tyre off to change the batteries or even replace the unit. That's the advantage. Disadvantage, batteries last much less time. But they're more convenient. So the idea is to put those on the car. It's got some little spanner here and some little nuts. The idea is you put these little nuts onto the shaft, the actual air valve, and then you lock them against this to, so it doesn't unscrew itself and lock it down. So it's quite nice. It comes with some spare seals and stuff. That's quite nice. Seems like a nice quality unit, actually. Looks quite good. I get one apart? Not easily. <laughs> I know you want to have a look inside it, don't you? And there it is there. This is the actual device. I opened it up. And you can see it's basically mostly just the battery. And you've got a single circuit board there. And it's actually amazing how much they can fit into these things. You know, it's actually a transmitter and pressure sensor on this thing. Very nice. These feel like good quality units. You've got the instruction manual here. Tells you how to install it all. Allows dim system, so this is one that goes the tyre. I'll show you that one. So that's the inside tyre version, looks like that. So it's a bit of a pain to deal with those ones, so I'd rather have this style. Much easier. Apparently, the default setting for low pressure is 26 psi, which is perfect actually. That's about what I was thinking. I was thinking I was going to set it at 25, so 26, close enough. So that's alright, gives you a nice early warning for tyres starting to go a little bit flat. And I don't have to change anything. So I don't know yet if I'm going to do a video on the installation of this thing. I don't know if I will. And that's basically what the app looks like. So it tells you what your tyre pushes are and temperatures are of each one, as well as a signal strength and a battery indicator as well, so you know when your battery's getting a bit low. And hopefully it will work okay in my wife's car. I hope so. But there's different versions. This one's obviously meant for Android systems. You can also get standalone systems, which just have a independent screen, so they have their own screen. I've actually got one of those in the motorhome, which is what I'm using on that, because that's really important having sensing on those things. This is um, promising. I think it will work. I hope so. I just noticed this in the lid. Download link for the app. Don't forget to check out the links down below for other videos. Maybe mailbag, repairs, reviews, whatever. Been doing a lot of review stuff recently. Subscribe link over here if you're not already subscribed. And if you want to help support the channel, help me to buy things, mailbag and things to fix, there's a Patreon link right there. Click on that. You can donate a few dollars a month. It's not much, a few dollars a month, seriously, it's all it is. And you get the people doing that, I can buy a lot of stuff and make a lot of videos. You'll want that. Catch you later.